anyway, Cookie. Are you unscathed? I'm fine, but we better put an end to this and fast. Ah! Don't. Do not be frightened. Hide behind me. Ah! <laughs> Perhaps you should focus on protecting yourself first. You may be strong, but your powers are nothing compared to mine. I could crush you right now if I wanted to. Crush me? I might have been the one who tried to destroy a city, but you sound awfully violent. Speaking of, perhaps you should reconsider your decision to obliterate the entire universe? It will not make you feel better. I know from experience. Ha! You pathetic flatster! You think you know anything about me? The audacity! As soon as I fuse with number 325 and become the Cosmic Donut, I shall destroy your galaxy before anything else. And if you try to escape to a different star cluster, I will simply follow you and destroy it too. And should you run away to another galaxy, I'll crush the whole thing into pieces myself! <coughs> Donut! You... What did you just say? It seems that fear has made you lose your mind! How dare you speak like that to me? So, is someone gonna tell us what they said, or...? Why, you... How dare you aim your donut beam at me? Everyone, get on the train. No! Yeah, we need to leave before he returns back to his original self. Run! Ah! All aboard! Choo -choo! <laughs> Dr. Evil Blaze looked ridiculously powerful. Yet you simply turned him into a donut. Poof! Just like that! A donut! <laughs> and away he rolled away. <laughs> That's right! You made him roll away! <laughs> <laughs> Dear biscuits and treats of all flavors, thank you for traveling with us on the rather bumpy Dream Express. The next stop is the final destination of this train, the Western Sky. Once the train stops, make sure to leave the station as soon as possible. We lost those pesky donuts, but they might be back. Looks like it is time to say goodbye. Over there, outside the window, is a faintly glowing galaxy. It is most likely the whipped cream galaxy, where our ways part. Yo, donut? Oh, my apologies. Your language is still foreign to me. I wish you the very best, Donut. I would like to believe you wished me the same as well. <laughs> well. No. <laughs> Please, do not cling on to me. Danger does not pursue you anymore. Travel freely, wherever your heart wishes. Wait, you understand me now? What's this creepy noise? 
Everyone, get off the train. You're mine! Yep. Oh, so persistent. Let the donut go already. One step closer, and I will brain glaze every passenger on this pathetic train. Uh, brain glaze. Like brainwash, but donut style. The reason why I haven't used my nut donut dough beam on you, pathetic creatures, is because I didn't want to delay the coming of the cosmic donut. <gasps> I admit, it was reckless of me. After all, we're talking about becoming the supreme overlord of the universe here. I can't believe I actually listened to your incessant whining just to bring my victory closer. It doesn't matter anymore. Number 325, I shall grant you the honor of becoming part of me. I will consume you and become the strongest being in this entire universe! Space Donut, fight back! Use your Duda! Let the Donut and the Donut Ball converge! What is this? It suddenly became completely dark! <gasps> no. No, no, no! This isn't supposed to happen! Stop firing your donut beam, number 325, or we will turn into a useless little donut! Stop! Stop it right now! No! We're nearing infinite zero! I said stop! Stop it! No! Come on. Space Donut! Stardust Cookie, wake up! <sighs> That was quite the shockwave, but I didn't expect you to pass out like that. This is a dark vortex. That was not a dream. Dr. Evil Glaze's plans to become the Cosmic Donut failed. Yeah, yeah. Can you lend me a hand here? The train is gonna get sucked in. Ah! Milky Way Cookie! Everyone, hold on. We will try to pull the train out of this vortex. Sacrifice yourself! Save us! Too late! Flee! No! Buckle your seatbelts! Yeah. We are leaving this vortex together! Our destination awaits us! All of us! We're going to explore the galaxy together, sharing snacks! because no dessert has ever returned from the Vortex. But I must look beyond the horizon. What? Stardust Cookie! Oh. 
Dr. Evil Glaze tried to stop the donut beam. But having jammed the beam, he must have caused instability instead. If only I could try and push Dr. Evil Glaze away. Yes, I too know that feeling. Wandering across the void, without any sense of direction. Swept away by a vortex. Feeling nothing. Moonlight cookie. I can only wonder what you were thinking. But you came to save me. What was your reasoning? I want to save the space donut. The donut still... Still does not know what Starflower crisps taste like. Unpacked! duty to deliver all our passengers to their destinations. Now, fasten your seatbelts. This train is about to reach the ultra-turbo light speed and catch up with our passengers, Stardust Cookie and Space Donut. <laughs> Where am I? Am I on the train? How fortunate. It's like I managed not to crumble away. Ah, oh, you're awake. You look like you needed some rest, so we didn't wake you up. Milky Way cookie. What happened to the space donut? Are they okay? Space donut? They're right next to you, silly. Do you know how hard it was to get them off of you? <laughs> donut, wake up! Oh? What? Space Donut! You made it back. Good. So, where are we? All uh, right, <laughs> about that. So, it's a conductor's sacred duty to deliver her passengers to their destination. I've already mentioned that, yep. But <laughs> I may have uh, broken the Dream Express a little, a bit with the Ultra Turbo Light Speed Mode. And, uh, we had to crash land in this, um, hmm, random place. Stardust Cookie, you're up! Yes. Do you know what happened to Dr. Evil Glaze? Dr. Evil Glaze, uh, passed out, I think. So we just left him there. <laughs> He's probably floating around the galaxy. Let him have a taste of his own medicine. Yeah, I'm sure he can hitchhike or something. Ha! You know, Stardust Cookie, I, I was so worried that I wouldn't be able to say thank you. That's right! Thanks so much, Stardust Cookie. You know what? From now on, you get a free lifetime supply of snacks from my card. Stardust Cookie, we are saved because of you. Thank you so much for not giving up on us. And thank you for the soda. I may not be where I originally intended to be, nor was this the kind of journey I had in mind. And I most certainly did not expect to meet such company, but this is nice. It was a terrific trip. Stardust Cookie. Yuck, 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 yuck. Huh? What are you saying, Donut? It better be good, because we're totally having a moment. I believe they said they want to take a dip in the ocean over there. <laughs> uh oh? The space donut is running towards the sea! Is that really what they said? Oi! Answer us! Oh! <laughs> I think I will join them. I've never seen an ocean before. Can I take a bag of crisps? Of course! And have a soda if you get thirsty! Huh? What? Uh, but you're gonna get all soggy? Uh, looks like the space donut dropped something. Should we give them a bag? Huh? It's 
their train ticket. Waiting moon car, seat 42. The destination is... Uh, wait. I think it's getting rewritten as we speak. The new destination is... Anywhere in the universe. Yep, yep. Another satisfied passenger. <laughs> and I know just the place to recommend. Doo -doo. We're cool, cheese! We're cool, animals! 